What's up everyone, my name is Dallas aka Infernus and welcome to another episode of The Tekkit Realm. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a proper YouTube banner using Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is go to Panzoid.com and Panzoid is a free website where you can uh, get your, your uh, templates for the banner and essentially this is what it looks like when you first go onto it and it looks kind of like this so um, you're going to have these options down here. Uh, what you want to go to is backgrounder 3 and this is all you have to type into Google just panzoid.com So just click backgrounder 3 and then here you have it. All right, so okay It's already set to the normal YouTube banner right here So if you want to edit it you want to go down to where it says basics click on that um, And right here we have it set to YouTube 1 and that means that is what the YouTube banner layout is going to be Okay, that is what you want um, or you could just go on Google and look up, you know, what's the dimensions for a YouTube banner and then you could just apply that to Photoshop But um, this is just a template that you can go ahead and download Okay, so it's a really good and easier way to do that But you know once you've done that either way works. You're just gonna go into Photoshop Because obviously you're gonna need Photoshop to do this since Photoshop's in the title and everything and whatnot So here you have the Photoshop and now you need to go get a picture. So let's go and get a picture, okay? Um, and now go to uh, look up any kind of picture. Like for example, if your favorite color is green like me, just type in green background. As you can see, this is really, really high quality. Um, over here on the right, it says it's 3,500 pixels by 2,500 pixels. And that's very, very high quality. So that's definitely something that you should get if you're interested in it. Because the higher resolution it is, the better it's gonna look like. Longer it's going to take the render on YouTube, but you know, that doesn't really make that much of a difference. So right click, save as, and then just save, and then go into Photoshop again. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and you could just rename this to anything. Now, make sure that the banner is 2560 by 1440, or you could just use the template that you just made. Either way it works, but in this case, I'm just going to do it this way. For background, just do transparent and color mode, RGP, color, whatever. It should automatically be like that. That's it. Just press OK. Now go back into your thing right here and then just drag this up onto here like so. Or you could just do file place, but um, same thing. And then you just right click and place, but you want to make sure it's uh, the whole thing, right? Great. And now here comes the place where, see that looks really high quality, right? That's going to be your background. And the reason it needs to be like this is because YouTube is only going to take a section or a strip of this and it's going to display it on your channel. But essentially, um, you're going to want to need this in order to know where to put your logo. Now it's going to be very, very low resolution, but um, that's okay. You're not going to be actually using this. So what I like to do is I like to go into the effects right here on the right. So now... In the effects right here where it says normal, scroll down in this area and then go down to soft light or even something that's a little bit more like probably overlay. This way you could see it a little bit. So this way you can get a uh, glimpse of what it's going to look like and where you should put your things right here. Um, this, this little box right here is where you should do all your art. Everything beyond this is not going to be shown and it's just there because that's what YouTube wants for some reason. I don't know. But um, yeah. So. Let's try to add one of your logos, okay? So, let's do um, one of my older logos. Let's place this. So, let's just drag this in the scale. Right here. This is very bland, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's say um, these, these thicker shades right here is supposed to represent what's going to be shown on different platforms. So, the darkest shade will be shown on all platforms. Uh, the lighter shade will be shown on iPads and computers and the darker shade will only be shown on the computer and TV, whatever. So yeah, that's kind of a good thing that you can use in order to find out or figure out where to put your stuff in. Like you want to make everyone be able to see your art, you don't want it hanging out, so like people on an iPhone looking at your channel won't be able to see it. So just do it about right here, and that should be good. All right, put your logo there, okay? And then right click place, and now just place maybe one piece of art, just for a simple thing here, something that describes you. Don't just copy an image, obviously. 
because you don't want to be copying images. Also, you can mess around with the effects too. That's something I like to do. So scroll down or click on the thing. I guess you have to uh, press this first. Uh, make sure it's roughly centered. Uh, right click place. Just drag this under here so it looks better. And uh, the mouth will not be seen because it's going to be cut off by YouTube. So you can mess around with the effects. Like you could do stuff like this. It looks kind of cool. Um, these are all just templates pretty much. You want it to be seen. So don't do anything crazy like that because no one's even going to know what that is. Um, yeah, like that. It looks kind of good. And then you could do the logo. You could add something there. So that's pretty much as good as it's going to get. Um, keep in mind layers that are over other layers are probably going to not end up good if you're doing the effects. So just keep that in mind. Um, like that doesn't look that good. Try to do something like... Yeah, you can't really see that because most of the stuff that's seen is going to be cut off anyways. Um, same with that. It looks good, but it's not going to be there. Same with that thing. To be honest, that's the only thing that actually works. Now, this obviously doesn't look that good, but you know, it's the Toro. So once you're done, let me just go over here, press File, and go to Save As. And then... Uh, since you did the transparent background, it's crucial that you actually do... Hold on, let me just get this in the thing here. It's crucial that you do PNG. If you don't do PNG, it's not going to render good. Because the, the background's transparent, so it needs to be PNG. It just needs to be PNG. Let's get that thing back up here, thank you. Alright, so um, <laughs> now you just save it wherever you want. And then from that point on, it's pretty self-explanatory, alright? So let's get to my YouTube channel here. Let's get to my YouTube channel. Um, to edit, you just go here, edit channel art, and then you just do that. And that's pretty much it. You just find the file you just placed. And from that point, it's pretty much done. And that's it. That's how you make a proper banner. As far as, you know, how to do this in the long run, like how to make it look good, I think this doesn't look that bad. You can go ahead and mess around with some of the stuff, like go over here to the edit thing. Maybe you could just... Enhance the brightness a tiny bit, maybe do the contrast. Um, change the lighting a little bit. Vibrance, that's always good. Uh, saturation, that's the opposite, you don't want that. I guess you're gonna make it really vibrant like that. Uh, no, don't want that. Whoops, we don't want that. Control Z, thank you. Oh, how do I do <laughs> What did I do? Oh god, I messed it up. Okay, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> so that's how you do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you once again. Goodbye.